Hey now, I am the Rob from 1061 Kiss FM here with my tag team partner in broadcasting. What is up? It's Eric Corners with WKDQ, and uh, thank you for the Enhancement Talent fans making this one year of the Enhancement Talent. Yesterday marked the one-year anniversary of our very first episode of the Enhancement Talent. It wasn't even called that. Back no, it, we just, it didn't even have a name. We didn't know we would do it every week. We were just like, hey, let's sit down and talk wrestling. You want? We'll put it on a video. We'll throw it up here on the website. So. And then eventually, because this is what we do behind the scenes anyway. Yeah. We work in the same place on different radio stations, and we uh, are the two biggest wrestling fans in the building. And we always talk about what we saw on wrestling and our memories of wrestling. So we figured, why not have that conversation uh, here on the internet? And, and it's worked well. And I want to thank everybody who's who's followed all of it, especially Steve. I mean, Steve, uh, who let us know it was our one of your. We didn't even know it. <laughs> uh, uh, Steve, one of our one of our biggest fans. Uh, guys like uh, Craig and AJ and Adam and guys that that watch. Every episode, thank you. And uh, if you're just joining us and finding us, thank you. Jerry, and, yeah. Jerry in Pennsylvania, Justin in Montana, yeah. uh, John in Florida. We've got a very big following. Hey, I no kidding, no kidding. I was in Memphis, Tennessee, and I have not told you this. I was in Memphis, Tennessee, walking around and in a room full of like 800 radio guys, and somebody taps me on the shoulder and says, "Hey, I'm still loving the show," and I'm like. Who's listening to my radio show, like, you know, mm -hmm. somewhere else? And he said, no, 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 the enhancement talent. Really? I love the enhancement talent. I'm like, okay. He says, I'm McLovin. I know the Rob. And okay. You so, never told me this. So McLo I know. I completely forgot to tell you until <laughs> that you just is... said that. So it was just amazing that in Memphis, Tennessee, I get tapped on the shoulder and told that they love the enhancement talent. So thank you. Thank you again. Justin, everybody watches. Justin watches. I used to work with him in Montana, and him and Big J are doing a, a lot of good work out there still. So. Um, so thank you, everybody. There's been some great memories, both on the enhancement talent and in wrestling over the past year or so. Yeah, and uh, today we thought we'd come to you and give uh, at least, you know, maybe our top three uh, each uh, of uh, biggest news items or biggest stories in wrestling over the last year. Uh, you want to start and give one of yours? My favorite thing that's happened in wrestling over the past year, and I think the biggest thing that's happened, is the launch of the WWE Network. Not only that, its launch and its, uh, I'll call it success, and just as a personal, like, to me, I love it. I love having it. Happy to pay the bill every month when it comes in because the content they provide me is just perfect. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, that would be my number one moment as well. Uh, I, I think it changed the face of wrestling, not just wrestling, but entertainment, because uh, you know, you've got things like Netflix and Hulu and, and things like that, but this is so specific to wrestling fans. I think yeah. you know, you're going to see more of these things pop up, and I, I dare you to find another one that will be as successful as the WWE Network has mm -hmm. been on the platform that it has been. Uh, people can say they want to cancel all they want, but if you're a wrestling fan and you enjoy wrestling, past or present, even if you don't enjoy the current product, right. Nine ninety nine a month is not too much to spend for all the great stuff you can find there from the past. So, and not only that, the new I, stuff I they put on there, like forget the new product, but the new like shows yeah. focus so much on the past anyway. Yeah, it's great. No, so that's been my favorite part of wrestling over the past year. Absolutely. Um, I'm going to say another big moment for me, uh, and, and this is you know good and bad. I mean, so many the range of emotions you want to talk about that this brought up was uh, the saga of the Ultimate Warrior. Um, you know, talk about, you know, I mean, the impact that he had on the uh, on the business, especially people in our age group and our demographic, the impact that he had. Uh, it might have been for a short time, but, I mean, I was the Ultimate Warrior guy. I was mm -hmm. not the Hulk Hogan guy. So, you know, to see him finally mend fences, to finally come back, to be inducted in the Hall of Fame, to show up on Raw, to be at WrestleMania, and then just... Almost like something out of a movie, he drops dead the next day. The next day, after just, all. Just unbelievable. I mean, it, it talks about giving a promo until your oh, heart stops beating and stuff I mean, like that. Just really it crazy just, it's stuff. It's giving me chills right now because I'm thinking about that promo that he gave, and it was just, it's something completely out of a movie that doesn't seem like real life, and that's kind of what Warrior was. That's the man Jim Elwick was something out out of a, a, a movie, out of another realm. So yeah. uh, so that entire saga, for me, uh, definitely one of the biggest stories of this past year. Another really big story over the past year that we talked an awful lot about and the wrestling community has certainly talked a lot about, still feeling the effects of this, in my opinion, was the sudden departure of CM Punk. <laughs> and it's amazing that you, you've, you've come right up on all three of mine. I mean, that that's exactly, uh, you know, where I was going as well. That, yeah, I mean... 
in this modern age of wrestling, you don't see that kind of thing happen because no. there's only one place to work. You know, no offense to TNA, Ring of Honor, or New Japan, or any of those places, but there's only one place in wrestling to work. You don't see people getting frustrated and jumping to WCW. It can't happen right. anymore. So for somebody to just get frustrated and just decide, ah, I've done it and I'm ready to leave, I think that that's huge. That doesn't yeah. happen. And subsequently, his appearance on Colt Cabana's podcast and his departure to UFC. I mean, there's been a whole lot there. That's, it's a story that really hasn't gone away in the last year. That, that was the first thing we were talking about a year ago. I believe was, our first one yeah, was we, very yeah. focused on that. We were talking about uh, you know the road to WrestleMania. We were talking about will Punk come back, and we've we've talked about that several times. And I predicted he'd be at WrestleMania 30. Yeah, and uh, so there we go. Yeah, people still talking about Punk. So that's definitely a big story. Do you have another one? If not, I've got one more. Um, you know, storyline wise, I think one of the biggest things is maybe the breakup of the Shield. When you know, at the time, I think we kind of thought it was a little premature. Uh, but looking at the way things have panned out, I don't think you could have gone on the rest of the year without the shield breaking up yes. because you're coming, you know, you're getting top players here out of that trio, uh, and and it's a good thing that it happened because you know you're really short on talent right now. Yeah, and they've made three stars out of that one group. None, none of them have failed. No. Uh, and the one more that I'll mention in the same kind of vein is like it, it was an on-screen thing. Um, I will never forget the way I felt when Lesnar pinned Undertaker at WrestleMania. Yeah, I mean, and it's funny that that one's fallen back so far because that is a huge that that. Huge but like that was just like I feel like in today's day in wrestling, we're very rarely surprised mm -hmm. uh, with the internet. That was just so well guarded, so out of left field, so unpredictable that it was the perfect time to pull the trigger on that. Yeah, and uh, yeah, just a just a huge moment that's going to kind of change, you know. The Undertaker's legacy forever. I mean, you yeah. know, a lot of people thought that he, his legacy would be that he would always be undefeated at WrestleMania. And, um, yeah, the way it happened and the way it catapulted Brock Lesnar, I think, in the long run was a good thing. They still refer to it. I mean, even yeah. on the promo from the Connecticut, it was uh, he's still the one in 21 and one. And they can forever. Yeah. I mean, anytime Brock Lesnar's around, that is now the story. Even when Brock loses the world title, he has that I beat the Undertaker at WrestleMania title. That will never go away. Yeah. And one more thing I'll throw in there. How about uh, the appearance of Sting? Sting's impact on wrestling, Big. especially over the past few months, has been uh, astronomical. There have been many false starts, or at least, you know, yeah. according to the internet wrestling community about that story, but we finally, uh, it looks like we're going to be able to sink our teeth into a real Sting feud heading into WrestleMania 31. Yeah, and even if we didn't, I mean, we still saw Sting on a WWE, in a WWE ring. We saw Sting on Monday Night Raw, things that have never yeah. happened before, and, oh, and, uh, and we're kind of out of things that have never happened before. <laughs> you know, one of our most viewed episodes, in fact, if not our number one most viewed episode, was our post-Survivor series. That's true. We did the, right after the show ended, yeah. we got it right up there and you know thousands of views on that one so thank you everyone for watching and for making the first year of the enhancement talent awesome i say cheers to many more yeah absolutely let's let's keep it going and uh, if you've got any subjects that you want us to discuss uh, you can always let us know if you just want to tweet us and say hey uh, at the e talent uh, you can email us and be sure to subscribe we love talking wrestling as we know you guys and let me say it. i wanted to say, i wanted to say one thank you i want to thank uh, eric cornish not only for being my tag team partner in broadcasting but also uh this was eric's this was eric's baby to be honest with you i love being a part of it but this was eric's idea uh, Eric puts these together every week, and uh, I'm just thankful to be a part of it. So hey. thank you for all that you do, Eric. Hey, well, thank you. There's nobody I'd rather be tag teaming with than The Rob. And uh, thank you guys for joining us for a year of the Enhancement Talent. Have a good one.